Hi. Uh, we are going to discuss the something that's called the complex plane. Um, the complex plane looks very much like the regular rectangular plane. Um, the complex plane is also called the z-plane. And, but we use it a little bit different. So if you have a complex number, we usually represent complex numbers by uh, letter Z. So Z equals 3 plus 2Y. So we have two axes. You have a horizontal axis, which is the real axis, and the vertical axis, which will be the imaginary axis. So you use that it's kind of like going with coordinates, although you're not really plotting points uh, as you normally do with a rectangular uh, plane. So what we do is we got 3, that's real, 2i imaginary, and that's where the number is going to be. Okay, again, this is not a point with coordinates 3, 2, because the complex plane is not the same as a regular rectangular plane. All right, let's uh, plot some more points. So let's plot 3 minus 2i. So the real part it is 3, which is going to be on the horizontal axis. And then minus 2i, so I'm going to go down. That's the number. Example 2, negative 2 plus i. So negative 2. Oh, my apologies, actually. Here it's 3 minus 2i. It's positive 3 minus 2i. I apologize about that. This is the correct location. Okay. Negative 2 plus i. So the real part is negative 2, the horizontal axis, negative 2. Plus i means plus 1i. So I'm going to go up 1. This is my number. Plot 3i. Okay, so the real part is 0, which means I don't go horizontally at all. And 3i is just the imaginary part. This number is actually going to end up being right there on the vertical axis, on the imaginary axis. And then I want to remind you again, negative 2 is actually considered to be a complex number. It's just its imaginary part is non-existent, uh, b0. But negative 2, so we go to negative 2. You don't have any i here, so that's just going to be right there. So if the number is a pure real number, it's going to end up being on the horizontal axis, which is pretty much what the real number line is going to be. All right, we got to talk about one more thing here. Um, there's something called modulus of a complex number. So modulus of a complex number is going to be actually the distance between the number and the origin here. So like if you have number right there, that's 3 plus 2i, this distance here is going to be the modulus. Now I hope you can see a right triangle here, which means the Pythagorean theorem will apply. And if you look at this, if I have a complex number z equals a plus bi, the modulus, which has the same symbol as the absolute value, is going to equal square root of a squared plus b squared, which is precisely what you would use to find the length of the hypotenuse. So in this case, the modulus of 3 plus 2i is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared, which is going to be square root of 9 plus 4, which is going to be square root of 13. This will be uh, the modulus, which is basically the distance between, as I already mentioned, the distance between uh, the origin and the number on the complex plane. So let's do a few problems. We're going to find um, a modulus for each one of these numbers. So you saw the formula. 3, negative 4, square root of 3, square plus. You need to be careful here because negative 4 is what you're going to square, but you will, it will always give you a positive value. So it's a square root of 9 plus 16, which is a square root of 25, which actually gives us 5. Here, square root of squaring negative 12 plus squaring 5. Same idea, I would recommend using parentheses here so you avoid any uh, complications here. So it's 144 plus 25, of course the square root, which is a square root of 169, which is 13. 4 minus 5i, modulus, 
of that will be square root of 4 square plus negative 5 square which is square root of 16 plus 25 which is square root of 41. It's not a perfect square, nor can you simplify it, so we're just gonna leave it like that. All right? And then this, uh, the modulus of negative 4i, so the real part is 0, so 0 squared, plus negative 4 squared. It's going to give us square root of 0 plus 16, which is square root of 16, and that's going to be Four. All right. So this is how it's done. I hope you don't find it too intimidating now. Hope this helps.